In this video we are going to talk about exporting from Cinema 4D and importing into SketchUp. So you can see here that we have a scene already open in Cinema 4D where I've used polygonal modeling and also created some soft objects like um, armchairs or sofa. And I also have here an architecture which I have modeled using again polygonal modeling and soft and art modeling. So I created a bunch of objects here that I want to try to export in Cinema 4D, sorry, from Cinema 4D into SketchUp. Why? Because usually SketchUp modeling, it's pretty hard modeling. It's straight. It doesn't um, use the curves uh, as uh, Cinema 4D does or as Rhino does. And you can find also the video courses about Cinema 4D, Rhino and SketchUp in our channel. So I'm gonna go here to file and go to import and I will go down here and see all the supported formats. So first of all I need to know which format I need to export. You can try different solution and in my case I usually use the uh, FBX but you can see here that in SketchUp we don't have FBX so we can try it with another format which is also available in uh, Cinema 4D so we need to know what we can use and usually Collada it's uh, pretty common and popular the AE format or we can use also some CAD extension or format so let's go here go to Cinema 4D go to file and let's go to export. This is where we can find all the different files. You can see also that we have 3ds Max, which is another software that we can uh, use. You can see here that I, I usually select the FBX, but we can export in 3ds and in DXF, which are two supported formats for uh, SketchUp. So I'm gonna try to do both. First, first of all, I'm gonna export here in 3ds. So 3D Studio Max, and by the way, this is also the uh, path that you can do if you want to import then in 3ds Max from Cinema 4D. So in this case, I'm gonna call it Cinema 4D to SketchUp, and let's go here, go to File, say Import, and I'm gonna navigate into my folder, and there it is. That's my folder right here. You can also have some options and decide the units of the model but I'm gonna try to go ahead without setting anything in particular just exporting and importing and let's see what's gonna happen so well nothing is happening let's wait for a few seconds there you go so we can see that we have imported materials and other stuff here well we don't have materials in this file in this Cinema 4D file but we do have objects and we can see there that they have been all exported so if I zoom in I can see that all my uh, chairs there and sofas have been exported together with other stuff that I have created in the during the Cinema 4D video course like this architecture here which we can do without any problem also in SketchUp now this kind of armchair with all that bumps all those soft modeling and all those details will be a little bit more difficult to create in SketchUp and also creating sweeps and lofts and late and also this like blob um, objects or well a lot of modeling that we can do in Cinema 4D it's a little bit too difficult in SketchUp you you will have to create uh, buy or install more plugins and so on. So let's do the other option which is gonna be the XF and also here you can select what you want to export if you want to export polylines so 2D if you want to export 3D depends what you need to do so if I export polylines maybe I need this in a AutoCAD also software or in another CAD application so I will do here Cinema 4D SketchUp and also in SketchUp I can import 2D and then develop for example my architecture in SketchUp. 
Now, in my opinion, I think that SketchUp is a little bit faster and simpler if you need to do architecture or interior design. There you go. This is the entity that we are importing. And for soft modeling, animation, and um, renderings, things like that, you can use Cinema 4D, special effects, or graphic design, infographics, and so on. And there you go. These are the 2D objects that I add in my Cinema 4D scene. These 2D shapes also are pretty difficult to create in uh, SketchUp, but you will have a lot of shapes that you can create in Cinema 4D instead. And just by uh, clicking with the pencil there, we can turn this into a surface and then we can extrude it real easy in uh, SketchUp. So you can definitely work with both SketchUp and Cinema 4D. They are uh, complementary. They, they, they can work together, one for some uh, tools and one for others. And this one here, it's kind of a beam or pillar that you can extrude real easy, just the same way. And also in SketchUp, you have a lot of models in the warehouse that you can use. So let's go here and export one last time. Gonna still select the DXF option, but this time I'm not gonna export in 2D and then create the 3D in uh, SketchUp, but I'm gonna directly export here as solid, so as 3D geometry. So I'm gonna select another file here to export. So this will be 2D and this one here is gonna be uh, solids or 3D. So again, wait for the export to finish and then move back to file and go to import and search for the file that you have just created and then go to import. There you go. So just wait. And again, if you're interested in Cinema 4D video course or SketchUp video course and also other 3D modeling tools like Rhino, which uses a completely different way of modeling, which is called NURBS modeling. You can find it in the channel. You can also write your comments, your questions, your suggestions uh, in the down the video. And if you want, you can support us by subscribing. And also, if you want to become a supporter, you can join the channel. This is going to help us a lot to create more videos like these, free videos explaining to you how to use certain tools and perhaps in the future also complete video courses. We already have some completely free video courses in the channel. So there you go. We have finished to import. We have 170 layers. We have solids and 2D. And there you go. We can say OK and we can check the what we have imported so far in SketchUp. So we just need to wait just a little bit more because it needs to load the objects that we have in the scene there, which are pretty complex. They have a lot of geometry and there you go. Now you can see down there all the layers and all the objects that we have imported. Everything is divided uh, into layers. So I think that each object is a separate layer. This is why I have so many layers, which in SketchUp are called tag, by the way, and you can find them in the tag panel on the right. Now, I'm sorry that this is in Italian, actually, I've just realized, but the video course is completely in English. So if you want to check the other video courses will be in English. So thanks for watching the video. Support us, uh, join the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.